Hello, this is Breuer, and welcome to a brand new season for Motorsport Manager. This is season number six overall and our second season in the Asia Pacific Super Cup. Um, our goals for this season are fifth or above, which is pretty aggressive. It was the most aggressive choice that I had, uh, so it was able to give us the most money. Uh, we did. We were sitting fifth for most of the year last year, most of the season, and uh, it wasn't until the very last race where the points were doubled that we lost it and dropped down to seventh, which was was very frustrating. But you know, I think I think we can get fifth again. Um, I think we're going to end up with a better car. We're going to really try and put be aggressive with the the part builds this year, and really, and we were very aggressive with uh, kind of the car that we built out initially. We, we went a little higher on a couple of the parts. We took a couple choices, so we have a really good baseline car, a lot of improvability, and we'll see if we can we see if we can swing something around this year. I'm um, pretty excited. So let's go ahead. We're actually already caught up to the very first race. We did that during the preseason or the, the last episode of last season, if you will. So next up is Singapore. Here we go. Um, yeah, we're just going to just seventh or above. That's fine. I mean, it's a challenge, but if we get this, this could really spin some stuff around on the money. Now, obviously, dropping up to here would be amazing. <laughs> you know, or even this. Actually start making money for our races would be awesome. But uh, we'll go 600 uh, or seventh or above. I mean, $600,000 would make a pretty significant difference if we can pull that out a few times this year. Uh, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, fit parts, I think we're pretty good where we're at. We gave Lau all of the best ones. She has all of the second best, which is fine because he is the number one driver. He doesn't know it yet, but he is. No, I think, okay, she's, she's unhappy, but it's not because of his car. It's just because her car is bad. So I think we're okay. I forgot how we did on this race last year. I don't think we did too good on this race last year, if I remember right. I don't think it was until like the third or fourth race that we actually started making, getting some points unexpectedly. So we'll see how this one goes this time around. Does it tell us what he's done before? I don't think it does. Um, we're going to go ahead and take... Yeah, we'll go ahead and take these two guys for feedback. The feedback's really good. I mean, his feedback's fine. Um, but for now, this is going to be great. No weight stripping for this first race, most likely. All right, so load setup. Did we save some? We should have. I bet we didn't, though. No, we did. There we go. Singapore track A. Uh, this one is for... Uh, chin there's a little bit of water level for that one and tire choice we are going to go softs i think our tire wear is going to be better this year but until i know for sure we're going to just play it safe All right, no weight stripping or anything like that. Let's go. Let's go ahead and pause for a second, send out. Two D twelve X. I'm bring you both back in. Look at that. Great, great, great. A couple of excellence. Good things. Glad they added those ability to load and save setups. I mean, it's, it's been a while that they've added them in, but I don't think they were in the vanilla, if I remember right. I could be wrong. All right. Um, so we do have a little bit of work to do. A little bit of tweaking. Just going to pick a direction and just see what it does. Sure. Looks good. Good as anything. Obviously for her, we just need to tone in the downforce, which is awesome. Go a smidge up that way. Um, hopefully that's not too far off. I guess we'll find out.
I'm gonna bring you both back in. Uh, not yet on the downforce. Yeah, still nothing. Oh, it was good. I was thinking it was great. I did too small of a change. Uh, much bigger change now. Yeah, it's trusting like that. Much better, I hope. Uh, went a little worse on one, a little bit better on the other. Same percentage overall, though. So the downforce didn't make any difference whatsoever. So we'll make it go a little bit further. And then from great to good. So we definitely know that the handling is the other direction. And then we went from great to excellent. Speed balance is where it was. Something like that. Let's bring you both in one more time. And then we'll let you just run run wild. There we go. Excellence across the board. It did get a pour, but that's a that's a it's a data point. So we know that it is further up the other way. Something like that. Um, fortunately, this is way off now. Hopefully that's good enough. And then you're just excellent, which is awesome. All right, we'll just run it out. We'll figure out what she's doing. We'll, I think we'll be all right. I'd like to see how Lau does overall compared to everybody else. We're not running the fastest tires in the world, but hopefully he can place pretty good. Eh, I mean, like I said, I didn't think this was one of the, our better races for some reason. Yeah, he's not, he's not doing amazingly well. Not like some of the other ones where he was like top half or something like that when he started getting points. Even in the time trials here. Practice sessions. Although he's even dropping down a little bit. Yeah, I don't I don't think we're going to place on this race, which is fine. We don't have to place on all of them. I don't even know if we're going to get 7th or above, but that's all right. Maybe they'll surprise me. What is this? We're like, I think we're next to last place. We're like, oh, like maybe 17th place down there, something like that. All right. Um, we'll definitely go race trim and risk taker, like usual. Race trim and nurse, as always. And then, so we did get it up to great. I think we're going to go ahead and go with it. That is fine. We'll try and tweak it in a little bit more, but I don't think it's worth it. I will check, make sure we check the tires, though. I almost forgot. Um, 12, 24. Nah, let's just go out on soft. So let's just play it, play it nice and easy the first, first lap through, or this first race through, and that's going to be fine. Can't go too crazy. We're going to have to repair our parts and all that crazy stuff as anyway, so it'll be all right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did we actually get 100%? I don't think I've ever seen a hundred percent before i think i've seen a tons of 99s i don't know if i've ever seen a hundred that is pretty awesome 
and weight stripping. I don't think we can afford to do any weight stripping whatsoever. Uh, technically, we could strip that barely. Just because I usually hit those around 60% for him because of his uh, nurse. Everything else, though, just needs to stay the way it is. So, okay, tiny bit, but not much. Uh, Lau's in fifth. It's not too bad. It's within striking distance. Actually, no, we're fifth and ninth. That's not too bad. At least in the top half. All right, come on, Lau. Get off to a good start here, man. Right, well, moving up to fourth. That's a pretty good start, although he's probably about to lose it here in a second anyway. Again. Come on, guys. Just push it. Let's see what these cars are made of. All right. Getting there. It's going to drop down a little bit. Yeah, you may be able to squeeze past him. Uh, maybe. Maybe. Uh, that fourth place guy's on right on his tail, though. Yeah, I think he's about to pass him here. Oh, no, not quite. Right, keep going. Keep it up. Lao Chi's up to 10th, or I guess he was at started at 9th, so there she's back in 9th again. Not too bad. Right, tire wear is getting a little high. How hot is it? Actually, pretty hot out. Let's go drop them both back down to medium, just kind of settle in. I'd like to keep the engine going high, but I have a feeling that uh, our parts are going to just be too crazy right now. So, although we may just have to accept the fact that we're just going to have to repair some stuff. So, maybe going higher is good. Come on, Lau. Keep it going, man. Dropping down to six, man. That's not good. Seventh. That's not good, man. Guessing some of the other guys are. No, they're. Well, they're going a little bit more aggressive on the, the engine than us. That's part of it, I guess. Yeah, we're already almost down to 57%. So let's go ahead and jump up to high again on the engines for now. We'll just have to accept that we may have to repair. But right now we're burning through the tires faster than we're burning through the gas. So let's just jump it up a little bit. The one thing I will say is that all the guys that are around us or above us, except for this one guy way down here, all have the uh, the, the soft tires or the super softs or whatever. So that that's making a difference, I'm sure. We are very hot on our tires. It's probably too late to conserve, honestly. I think we just need to go crazy on the engines for a bit. And um, just, we're just going to have to accept that we're going to have to pit stop here in a moment. Come on, Lau. Let's go. All right, Chi, can you make it... One more lap after this. I'm really hoping you can. That means Lau has to make two more laps. Already at 25%. I think we're going to risk it. Alright, so Chi, you're going to go ahead and pit. Didn't burn through near as much fuel as I would have liked. Alright, so soft. There is 24 laps. So, okay, we went, we went almost 12 laps or no actually we only went what am i saying i can't do math we only went nine laps crazy so we gotta go a little more careful on the tires um i guess it's fine just fill up for now park conditions are not great but that's about as good as it's gonna get come on loud just keep keep pushing man keep pushing the gap that way when we come in for pit Everything will be, be nice. Of course, your tires are wearing up pretty fast. All right, now we got a pit, man. Now we got a pit. That's all good, and we'll go. Let's go fast. See if we can get something. Come out ninth. It's not too bad. All right, we'll go overtake on the engine, but we're only going to go down to push on the driving style. Don't want to go too crazy on the engine, the, the tires. Okay. 
There's Chi. I'm going to drop you down a little bit. Really keeping an eye on those tires. We have to go down to conserve early again. I don't know. Didn't come out in ninth place, unfortunately, though. Did we have a mistake? I wasn't even paying attention if we had a mistake in the pit. I'm kind of thinking I'm going to keep it going on the craziness on the, the gas right now. Because I just got to pull down the conservative, but we're just burning through our tires faster than our gas, I think, overall. We're still the only ones out here on, I mean, everybody else is basically swapped to the other ones. It does mean they have to pit, you know, maybe more than we do. Maybe, maybe it's the same number of pits. I don't know. Maybe that's a mistake. I'm not sure. We'll find out. I'll drop you in to medium for now. Let's just settle in for just a little bit. See where we're at when we get to the halfway point. Tires are just getting so hot. I think we're doing pretty good on the fuel to tire ratio right now. I think we're actually in a pretty good sweet spot. Right at halfway point on the fuel, right about the halfway point. I mean, obviously a little bit, a little bit further along in the tires because we're not going to let go to zero, but uh, you know, a close. It's feeling pretty good. Lyle's moved up to 8th. Cheese moved up to 4th. Come on, guys. Keep it going. The thing that's going to hurt us the most right now is probably going to be part repairs. Because Cheese definitely going to have to fix her couple parts for sure. Lao probably won't. We may be able to make it with Lao. That nurse is so amazing. we got, we got to get another nurse. I think of all the ones, there's a lot of other good ones, but I think of all of them, Nurse is just too good, especially with the weight stripping thing added in. She's actually in first place. Wow. But again, she's going to repair some parts, so not, not counting on that sticking around. Yeah, your tires are wearing down, but you can go a couple more laps. Keep it going. In fact, we're probably going to let you go at least one more lap after this. Because we'd really like to make these uh, tires last one more full round. Or uh, only one more uh, pit stop, I should say. Uh, ignore for just the moment. But I do think now is the time that we pit, though. Yeah, because we're past the pit, so we're good. So we we'll go for another set of tires. We have 12 laps remaining, which is good. So drop down to... Uh, do we keep it that tight? I kind of feel like going a little bit over, especially versus we're about to repair some stuff. So we need to fix that. Oh, man, I would just fix all three of these. It's terrible, 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 but I think we have to go with it. And pit strategy, we can go fast with her, though, which is good. And then Lau over here will wait another lap. Hopefully, don't have to fix anything. Actually, Lau might be able to go two more laps. All right, come on, G. Preparing that stuff is really going to slow us down. 
but hopefully some of the other guys had to repair some things too. All right, let's go ahead and go. Got a lot of excess fuel. Let's go ahead and go overtake and push for right now. You, however, do I pitch you now or do I let you go one more lap? Um, it's funny, we're in second place and the guy in front of us has already pit twice. It's crazy. I'd kind of like to let you go one more lap, to be honest. I don't know why. It's probably a bad idea, but I just, I feel like I want to. Everybody around us pit twice already, though, and they're already back into the mix of things, which is crazy. All right, we're going to go ahead and pitch you now. Go on softs. 11 laps remaining. I wish we can come out on those super softs, but that's okay. 10 laps remaining. I'm going to go a little bit over because I'd like to go aggressive. And we're just going to, we're going to leave the parts the way they are. And we'll go fast. See what happens. See if we can make something out of this. Come on, Lau. Go, 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 go. Hope that nurse nurse does its thing. Keeps us from having to repair. It's going to be a little bit tight on those brakes. I'll drop you down to conserve on the tires. I'm going to keep it on high for the engine just until excess fuel goes away. I think we'll be all right. Lau, I'm going to let you stay on the, the yellow for a little bit longer. You're not quite in the red. All right, you're starting to flirt with the red just a little bit. Let's go ahead and drop it down to conserve. Um, let's see, we got what? How many laps left? Seven laps left. We got a lot of extra fuel, don't we? I may punch you up to both up to red, actually. Yeah, 600. We're way too much. I, I, I must have looked at it wrong. I must have completely looked at it wrong. Just keep pushing it. Keep pushing it. I know. You're getting close. Five laps remaining. Lots and lots of fuel. First place. Oh, man. There's no way, right? Come on. I'm actually going to bump you up to neutral. Four laps remaining. I think we're okay on everything. Um, you're coming around. You're about to have four laps remaining. I think you need to stay on your conserve, though. Lau, though, I think we can be a smidge more aggressive. It's about to have three laps remaining here in a second. It's got plenty of fuel to keep going on the red. Tires are getting really hot. Right, I'm going to drop you down to orange just because I'm watching Lau and I don't want to like mess up. About to have two laps remaining. 40% on the tires. I think we can bump up to push. It's a risk. Um, you have two laps remaining. You're still good. <laughs> I'm getting kind of nervous here. 
tent. I'm wondering if I didn't drop you down to orange yet. I'm about to have one lap remaining. Let's go ahead and drop you down to high just to be safe. We may need to drop you down to medium. Let's drop you down to medium. I don't want to risk it. You're going to be pretty good as well, but I'm going to drop you down to medium just in case. Especially since I'm watching Lau here. Oh no, we're good. We're good. Oh, come on. Did we really just win this thing? Oh my goodness. What? Oh my goodness. And a lot of it, it, the only reason is because we were able to do it in two pit stops. Everybody else had to do three. And we didn't have to repair Lau, that nurse. Oh my goodness. Okay. I don't care how much it costs. We, we've got to fire our cheese person because that nurse is just too good. Don't get me wrong. The, uh, the faster pit stops is nice as well, but man, nurse is amazing. That was a good race. Whew. I, I don't know if I expected that coming out of practice rounds. But again, it's not because we were necessarily faster on any given lap. It's because we took one less pit stop. That's exactly what it was. Wow. Going with extra tire wear. I mean, just oh, that felt good. This first one, we had 11 laps there. We went 13 laps there. And then we were able to only have to go nine laps here at the end. That, that one right here in the middle, that was the win. Because... Um, yeah, those were at least this tie right here that I changed. That was the winner because that really enabled us to just go through the rest. I guess it was technically 10 ups at the end, but still that enabled us to kind of wait, get through the pack and all that stuff. Oh, that felt really good. Definitely got our sponsor objective. Eight points. I think it's too early for me to um, start going for higher sponsor objectives right now because honestly, six hundred thousand. If I got that the entire year, I'd be pretty pretty stoked. But uh, hey, hey, you never know. If we start getting a bunch of these top finishes, I'm not gonna get ahead of myself just yet. But if we somehow start pulling off a couple of these top ranked finishes, maybe we can come jump up to the third or higher. That's worth what one one point two mil or something like that. Oh no. No, I don't think you guys see this, but I got, uh, oops, the game crash. No, did that save it for us? Oh my goodness. Did that save it? I'm going to put a cut in here and I will come back just in time to tell you guys if it's saved or not. I'll put a cut in here as in I'll, I'll piece this together. Okay, here we are back after our crash, and thankfully, it did keep us where we're at. Um, oh, wow, this is cool. I've never actually seen the position tracker before. Well, that's pretty cool. Huh, there's actually a lot of cool things here. Anyway, sorry, they did keep us, I, I did save my thing where I was at, first place and everything, but this is the save when I hit continue that crashed. Here's open. After it checks the sc uh, scrutineering, it did, uh, it crashed on this next save coming up. Come on, game. Come on, game. Do me be nice. Be nice, game. Oh, okay. There we go. <laughs> okay. I was like, come on, first place in the first race. Don't make me rerun that thing. Oh, that would have been painful. Would have been painful. All right, good stuff, man. Oh, that felt good. That felt such such a good race. Would have been nice if Chi could have gotten some points as well, though. That would have been pretty awesome. Because actually right here, Boa Esperanza, or however, however you say it, they're only one point behind us because both of their people got points. Yep, right there, seventh place. Even the Eastwood is sixth place. 
neck and neck there with, you know, the only reason we're that high is because we got one guy that got some some stuff. Now, could I have gotten Chi up to getting, you know, what, sixth place would have gotten her some points? I don't know. It would have been kind of hard, especially with her car being a little bit worse than mine. Um, one thing I do want to do before I call it here, normally I would call it at that say that we just had. I do want to come over here to staff before I forget and look for a new race mechanic because I want to get rid of Watson here. I want to get another guy that's got nurse. It's just too good. That's Rachel Adams. That's a, that's a, that's a designer, but wow, that's a good designer. Crazy. Um, I need race mechanics. So most of these guys have teams already. Well, vast majority of these guys have teams already. Um, you got a little bit. I guess we don't know what... Oh, there is sweetest spots. The green sweet spot in qualifying is much bigger. Giving the driver an excellent chance of optimize, optimizing their brake and tire temperatures. Really? Is that what the sweet spot does? I didn't know that. Um, that's not going to be what I want, though. I want a nurse. Super overtake mode. That's the really fast overtake. Yeah. High engine mode is no longer impact condition. Ooh, running that with super overtake mode. It's kind of nice, but not what I'm looking for. Quick fixes. Park condition fix times are two times faster. Again, nice, but not what I'm looking for. The refueling faster is nice too. Super overtake, pit stop guru. All we got left is this guy down here. Pit stop legend. We'd have to pay to get somebody off of one of these other ones. It doesn't show it like, I wish it showed us the nurse. I don't want to have to search through all of these. Um. Okay, let's just see if anybody's contract ends like this coming up. Uh, let's see here. Anybody in the European Cup? I guess you are. Risk taker. That's not what I'm looking for. Because maybe one of these European Cup guys would want to jump up to my level. Fuel economy. Fuel burns more slowly, allowing the driver to use a higher engine mode. And refueling is faster. Goodness. It's kind of a cool combo. Rachel McAndrew. Quick fixes again. It's not what I'm looking for. Risk taker again. Engine expert. Um... Gary Quinn, risk taker. Polly Barker, risk taker. A lot of risk takers. This is not any nurses. There's a nurse. Pit stop guru, tire change. Tire changes are 50% faster in single seater and GT races. They're 15% 15 faster in endurance races. I mean, overall, he's not great. It would take a lot to get the improvement up high enough to take advantage of the nurse, which is annoying. Um, some of these other things are okay, and part fixes I don't care about because if the part fixes gets up there, I mean, if the nurse gets uh, in there, then we don't have to do the part fixes anymore. So I don't know. Let's see. Cost to break contract, 265. Cost per race, 44. I don't know. It's approaching. So we need to give him more than he's making now, probably. Okay, never mind. We'll give him $270 more than he's making now. Prefer a medium contract. Okay, we'll do that. And that's literally as high as we can go on the pay, so that's that's fine. I prefer you to pay it all. Sure, we'll pay $265,000 to break it. That's fine. I'd like a nice sign-on bonus. So we'll basically double your sign-on bonus. Bonus size is quite important. So you were getting, I don't know how much you were getting actually. But if you get 
Uh, we'll say six or above, right? Is it top six or top five? I actually don't remember. Uh, it's top six. So you get six or above. We'll give you two. We'll give you 60,000 bucks. I don't care. You get that high? Totally. Something like this looks fine. All right, we'll put that proposal in. I'm going to go ahead and put a cut in here. We'll come back and see if we can pick up this guy. It's going to take a while to work it way up to the nurse because his chemistry being so low. But hopefully, hopefully, hopefully we can pull him in and uh, do something with that. We have to, it's going to cost us to break the contract with our current guy too, though, which is unfortunate, but it's just the way it is. I think, I think it's just better off to get a couple of nurses and just be happy with that. All right. I do appreciate you watching and I hope you join me again next time. Thank you and goodbye.